was a kid just the recordings I listened to uh, they really fascinated me so someone like Rubinstein for me was an example really early I remember one day uh, I came to a piano lesson and I started moving my hands really far away from the keyboard so my teacher just looked at me like what are you doing I just yeah but you know the, I saw a video of Rubinstein playing like this and it was very <laughs> it was very sweet but well Beside this aspect, yeah, I, um, for example, uh, Dinu Lipati was um, definitely uh, an inspiration because uh, of the poetry that was everywhere in his music. He was playing Mozart or Ravel or Chopin uh, with such an artistry and such a poetry that I was definitely uh, impressed. And more recently, I was I really admire Emil Gilels, so the Russian pianist, for the beauty of its uh, sound. And uh, the sound is really in the middle of my work. It's really uh, something I, I really care about. And the beauty of its sound is something that's uh, rarely, rarely uh, heard. And you have to generate that beauty uh, regardless of the sort of instrument you're given on any particular day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, uh, it was really a, a sound that he himself produced. It was not the piano. It was himself produ. It's a balance between the the way you produce the sound, the way you uh, adapt the rhythm to the sound, the way you play legato, the, the the tension and the release. It's it's such a complex alchemy. You know, it's uh, like uh, you have to, you're looking for a balance. And it's very fragile, and I think someone like Gilles found a perfect balance for this.